Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Selsha KS. Right now I am standing in Canterbury and this is the cathedral, very famous cathedral and there is a lot to see inside. Uh, so as soon as we go inside the architecture just excite us and we were just there for half an hour and then just we just came back uh, for the punting. So this was really amazing to watch the spectacular work made by someone else. Canterbury is one of the cathedral cities known as a cathedral city. Canterbury as a whole city is really peaceful and soulful. You just feel like not coming back once you get inside there because it's just really calm and quiet and there are you know you don't see a lot of rush in it rush and you don't see a lot of vehicles in the roads. You just feel very peaceful and lot of beautiful pups are there. And punting, uh, Canterbury is famous for punting for sure. So I tried punting and I just tried octopus. It's the first time I ate octopus. Uh, that was in in an Italian restaurant. Um, so this is the dish which has prawns, oysters, and octopus. So it's the first time I tried octopus, but it was beautiful with salads. Corners, that kind of thing. When we do get close to the bank, please do not push away. Oh. Just send the boat in a direction I might not really want it to go. Steering is quite sensitive in these things, so it simply makes my life a little bit easier if you don't. Um, also, be careful of your hands and fingers. They are heavy boats. If you get trapped, it's going to hurt. And again, I'm not going to have any sympathy for you. I've warned you. I've done it far too many times. If you get trapped, I'm going to laugh at you. <laughs> the last thing, the river is very clean. As you can see, it is pretty much crystal clear. I mean, it's getting a bit darker, so you can't see very well. But um, trust me when I say it is very clean. Um, but if you do happen to put your hands in at any point, please make sure you wash them before you eat anything. And as a general rule, if you could leave the water outside the boat, so don't like splash around, don't drink it, don't bottle it, wash your hair, all sorts of weird mm -hmm. stuff, I would greatly appreciate it. Don't worry about me with the bridges, I've done this loads of times, I've had lots of practice. <laughs> But there we go. Like I said, health and safety is really straightforward. So it's all done. Um, but a couple more things. If you have any questions while we're underway, please do not hesitate to shout them out at me. There's no need to stand on ceremony or anything. Literally just shout it across the boat. I'll answer it as best I can. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I'll just lie. So mm -hmm. I'm worry about it. This is like I'm doing the punding and it was really beautiful. And as you can see, it's very calming and there is a guide for us who is demonstrating us all the things. So uh, he is saying the history because while riding, we can see right and left, there is a lot of historical places, which is very famous. So he's explained to us that. And also we went through a small hall, which was really creepy, full of spiders, which I'm scared of. And um, I felt like we are going to be stuck and it was full dark. And this we started at the evening. But yes, uh, when we went into the hall, it was really thrilling and adventurous. As you can see in the punting, uh, they have given us a place where we can lie and hot bags and pillows and everything. We were really comfortable and the degree was like two degree at that point of time. But it was really nice. This is one of the famous museums in Canterbury. And as you can see, the architecture is beautiful. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel.